Guys, look, we all know that esports isn't always about skill or strategy. Some of our favorite plays of all time weren't born from someone outplaying or outthinking their opponent. They were born from a little luck. Oh, I'm gonna steal this. Ooh. Now, don't get me wrong, the plays that we're counting down definitely required skill to execute. They just shouldn't have been possible in the first place. Is that enough? Today, we're paying respect to those times when R and Jesus took the wheel. Times when someone pulled off something that should have been mathematically impossible. Today, we're counting down esports' top 10 one in a million plays. Kicking off our list is Attach, showing us that sometimes you just need a little spark of madness to pull off the unthinkable. Stuck in a 1v3 during the CWL Pro League Stage 1 Grand Finals, Attach runs through a friendly artillery strike, something no one in their right mind would ever attempt. A play like this should he never work. He runs through his own artillery, and now it's a one versus one. The comeback seems to be dead. The comeback seems to be dead. He runs through his own artillery. He runs through his own artillery, and now it's a one versus one. He not only survives, but takes down the three remaining opponents and puts phase on tournament point. All through a true one in a million. Here's the gunfight! Attach is able to win it! FaZe Clan up 2-0 with the 1-5 comeback! Hitting me! Coming in at number 9 is this spicy play from Illidan during the group stage of the Star Ladder Imba TV Dota 2 Miner Season 1. After killing No-Tail, Illidan finds himself being rooted and dropped down to literally 1 HP. Topson's Monkey King chases the bleeding PA out of the base, but thanks to a few lucky crits, Illidan goes from hunted to hunter. Illidan makes it happen yet again! Oh, you can't stop this man! Once PA gets her ult, both her auto attacks and dagger ability have a 15% chance to crit for an insane amount of damage. Seriously, just look at this. What? The Scyphoid Dagger? Oh, Balance Strike. Oh, he wants to get it, it's not quite enough to turn, he's gonna be able to walk away from him, he gets the Lion Seal! Illidan makes it happen yet again! Oh, you can't stop this man! Coming in at number 8 is London Spitfire's Prophet, who pulls off a truly one in a million headshot. Prophet teleports off of an allied Symmetra portal and gets the snipe of his I life. Like lurker drops. Yeah. Get them all at once. All right, so Prophet going to go ahead and... Whoa, that works! Oh! <laughs> and while this may look like just a simple pick at the start of the game, take a closer look and you'll see that Gesture's second Orisa shield lands slightly behind Zenyatta's head exposing him to a Widow in the wrong place at the wrong time. Frag to a whole new level. <laughs> the Telefrag right here. So he's gonna look at first, and they just... Uh, what? Who Jew, does that? Ju is trying to peek around the barrier to volley, and he just gets wrecked. <laughs> Pavel takes our number seven spot, and his run at the 2016 Hearthstone World Championship shows that sometimes you just need RNG to get the win. After his opponent, Amnesiac, plays one of the strongest legendary cards, Malagos, Pavel plays Babbling Book, a spell that adds a random mage spell to his hand. He gets Polymorph. Here we go! Pavel. Polymorph! Polymorph! The perfect answer to the Malagos! This is gonna blow Pavel, uh, Amnesiac, sorry, out of the water! Oh, look at it! Oh my god! The heartbreak on the face from Amnesia. I think he actually Whoa. pulled at his own hair a little bit there. He was so frustrated. A turn later, he is faced with another major threat, but he draws another babbling book. And once again, he gets exactly what Firelands portal number two, because you can't just Firelands portal. Oh, so oh far my this. God! And what did I say? We should just choose our cards up <laughs> Ding ding dinging its way to number 6 is EGM's multicast fire blast against evil geniuses during the group stage of the International 2016. EG are just moments away from destroying Alliance's throne and ending the game. But with his back against the wall, EGM manages to pull out a miracle. Oh! EG can they close it universe? 
Ember's desperately scrapping, clawing, ding, 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 motherfucker! He now, Ogre down. Magi's ultimate gives any of his basic spells a chance to double, triple, or quadruple cast. EG, can they close it? Universe desperately scrapping, clawing, ding, 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 motherfucker! He goes down too, and Alliance find the triple dieback to shut down EG. Can they death ball back the other way? There's no way! I can't believe they couldn't finish the game there! There's so much right- Coming in at the halfway point on our list is Armada's insane turnip RNG during the Smash Summit 2 against Axe. Armada is on his last stock versus Axe and needs to mount a comeback. All it takes is a little help from RNG Jesus. He starts by getting a bomb, which has a 0.26% pull rate. It's so frustrating. Yeah, dude, the big, the big problem. Oh, oh no! Oh, come on. This is game. Game, really? What if, what if he hits him with the move and it blows up on him? Yeah, no, honestly, a lot of Peaches right now will actually we'll just throw away. Yeah. They don't, see? Yeah. yeah, they don't want to blow up themselves because it's a random chance, right? And then pulls a Stitch face. Now, there's only a 1.711% chance of that happening. Oh, right after? Yeah, no, he didn't. Cheated. No, he didn't. I, That's I don't not believe it. I don't my believe it. it. Oh, my God. No. Oh, Tell us who has it. Oh. And then, against yeah, all odds, yeah. he gets a lead to, but he's going for it. No, 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 please. no. Please, this is retard. No. I can't yes. stand this. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Has for all that is holy please. and merciful. <laughs> please, can you give Axe a break? break please. Break. Through incredible feats of RNG, Armada is able to win the game, and eventually, the series. Oh my god! What a game. This is the anguish of a man who just saw Axe get Stitch face six times. That was in one stupid. Game. Can I just say it? That was stupid. Bomb, Stitch, Hex, dude. I'm, I'm, Something. I'm suspicious of this guy. Hex, Stitch. Smeb ults and steals his way onto our list at number four. During Game 5 of the 2016 LCK Summer Finals, KT get a pick on Rox's jungler, Peanut, which should guarantee them a Baron and put them in a good position to win the series. Oh, Fly gets killed, KT turns immediately on the Baron. Now Smeb lays down his Gangplank ultimate to try to deter KT, but manages to do so much more than that. Fighting for breath, their team life, Baron taken. Oh, it's taken by Smeb! Oh! Smeb stole the Baron! Smeb stole the Baron! They're going after Fly now! And Rock Tigers turning it around! Hachani Solo! Can That's two kills! It? That's two oh, kills for Smeb! Unbelievable he Baron did. steal! He In did. a tragic misplay, KT's jungler score smites the Baron a little early. And the rest is history. This right oh. Two HP! Oh my Two God. HP on that Baron, the cannon barrage! Holy Unreal. crap! Real! Falling into the number three spot is Simple's legendary play during the ESL1 Cologne 2016 semifinals. See a double smokes in the same place there. Simple just jumping, catching into the side. He's gonna fall down again. Oh. What is this track from Simple? Are you serious? What is that? You can't do that, Simple. That's not allowed. This is not FPL. This is a major. In what looked like a one round for Fnatic, Simple takes his op and does what only Simple can do. Simple, I, I don't know, man. If he just comes in with that, there's nothing. That's a no scope. That's a no scope. For our number two entry, we go to the 2016 League of Legends World Championship semifinals between the Rox Tigers and SKT. With Prey and Kuro in SKT's base, and both teams split across the map, these two players realize that they have a chance to keep pushing. Are both shoving the top lane, so SKT know that Rox can't get the backup. This is gonna be dangerous, Peanut's gonna keep running, Wolf's gonna look for the, oh, not gonna get the root, but the Striker Thorns will land. The kickback doesn't mean much to Blank, and that should be a kill onto the Rox Tiger's jungler. But he's just buying time. Yeah, pushing the bottom side, this is what SKT is trying to punish. There he gets the inner. Gorilla putting down five damage auto attacks, doing what he can to keep mid lane alive because top and hip has been killed and they even got the pick off on bang with the game on the line prey fires the most unforgettable arrow in league of legends history been killed and they even got the pick off on bang rocks doesn't actually have to stop pushing right now they can delay the recalls the arrow no. arrows. look at the arrow no. get teleport he no, 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 no. stopped you with three second push it's now on wolf it's a teleport coming in for spam and curl how much more can be done and it works. 
the Ash Arrow not only stops Duke's teleport, but it buys rocks enough time to win the game. It's a difficult 3v2, pushing down Duke, down below 1,000, holds back on towards Prey, pushed back yet again, but Spence running low, but they get it, it the the Nexus, they're trying to burn it down, is this time going to be enough, it's not, Rocks Tigers, and it's your back for game two! You've probably guessed it already, but for the number one entry on our list, we're going to talk about Cold Zera's famous jumping off. You might have seen it before, but this play is truly one in a million. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure on him. He's got to hit these shots. We saw Fallen in this, in this spot before, the same spot, with, but with much more utility to work with. Here he comes once again. The first base is a trend. He's going to hit the ground there. It's Cold. Oh! oh what? A jumping double from Cold! What is there going on right now? How does he do this? After picking off a Dren, Coldzera proceeds to get a jumping no scope collateral on a liege and simple, and then no scopes nitro for what is probably the most amazing 4K in CSGO history. Now, everyone knows that lightning doesn't strike twice, unless you're Coldzera. And in that case, it strikes three times. Well, guys, there you have it. 10 plays that were truly one in a million. If you think we're one in a million, you can like the video. And if you subscribe, you'll be one in our million. Subs, that is. Whoa. See you next time. One of... I gotta what? I gotta own the cheese. Oh, the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> own the cheese.